the early college is already dressed out. A unique learning opportunity. When you go in, go up, look inside. Featuring real life farm lessons that you can't experience in any classroom. We're running the operation, running the houses for their benefit. And it's all thanks to Stephen Brake, a chicken farmer and owner of SNN Enterprises in Edgecombe County. There's nobody's been really doing it. It is the Poultry Education Center. The way um, that we bring the air inside a chicken house is very important. A chicken house that Brake uses to educate the public about poultry production. I had the desire to teach, to do the agricultural education. He didn't have to look far for partners. His integrator, Purdue, agreed to supply protective gear. Hogslack built the facility. Lock, stock, and barrel and said, here, go to work. Now, in addition to raising chickens, Brake welcomes guests for tours. He answers questions. He shows what it takes to be a grower and the responsibilities of having livestock. He also debunks the myths about animal care. My number one priority is the animal on the farm. It is my income, it's what I do for a living. I don't like being misrepresented in what we do. I don't like to be lied about. And there's a lot of stigma behind agriculture that all we do is drive a tractor, or all we do is work in a chicken house or tend the hogs. And there's so much more in agriculture other than just the things that we people see going up and down the road or out their, their window that is, it's got to be taught. Don't be chicken. What's the smell like? This process has been slow, but tour interest is growing. We had to do a count back in December, and it was about 2,000 last year. Oh. <laughs> Mostly FFA groups and vet students. We're not only trying to be advocates for the industry, but we're also being advocates to the students that they understand the careers that they can go into, and also tie agriculture together. I mean, we are poultry farmers. But we couldn't do what we do without the guys that are producing grain, and the guys producing grain could not do it without us. Anyone can request a tour online. Every tour is catered to that guest, and every tour is free. We don't make anything off of it. It's about the lives we're going to touch and what we're going to do for the future of agriculture. In the future of these students, one of the most satisfying things anybody can do is work an ag.